there, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. <laughs> All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? For Christ's sake. She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Okay. I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that. Oh. Oh, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's mm -mm -mm -mm. get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. The one in front of the bus. Bring them back alive. I ain't done with them yet. All right, get after them. Yeah. There, straight ahead. I saw them go through those bushes. Oh, you're gonna pay. All of you. They're heading down the hill, to the water! Oh, there they are, by the shoreline! Let's go! Catch up with them! That bitch is gonna get it! 
against the boss. All right, so women, we'll take him back. My God, how have you survived this long? Come on, rope that bastard. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Come on, get him, Arthur. Make sure you tie him up real good. You son of a bitch! Make these nice and tight. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Shut the hell up. What the hell? Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed me. Go to hell. She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do, coward? All right, all right, damn it. So he's still alive then? Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. Let's get you home. Yeah! Now get out of here.
tripping me, huh? So. Yeah, we'll leave this then. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll tell right. you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. Even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. No. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! you made out there bad they worse than worse you always was one for gossip jethro mingle thought gossip 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 but as usual you're spreading love but the darky killed a white man jimmy holdaker had a weak heart he died <sighs> of a heart attack and phantom black was set up everyone knows judge amory took a bribe Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Get out of here. Now. No respect for your elders. You gonna do it then? If that ain't the present I've been waiting for, and all wrapped up to. This ain't right. Please. God, this hurts. Let me go. Mining won't help you. Things go right at trial. You should stay for the hanging. Always put on a good show. All right. Oh, best untie me now. Not again. Just heard Jenny's place got held up. Hey there, partner. Evening. Snake 
here. Oh, 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 hey, hey, friend, remember me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the guy. Hey. This here's the feller. The one that found me. The medicine man, huh? Helps with the mystery box? <sighs> I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, uh, let, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Haven't conquered evil the way what I can I do for you? It's the least yeah. a man can do. Guy with the snake bite says I can put something here yeah, on his well, tab. That fool? Right. Jesus. It's time, if it's I'm not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. you sir I can take you just about anywhere Hey, mister. No more raising hell from you this time. You hear me? to keep your mouth shut you gonna leave this or not I need to hear you say it Got to. Good evening.
You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Were you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't ah!
Did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, they'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Can I offer you a ride somewhere? Oh, heavens. Hey, friend. Hello. How was it in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have. 
but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right. Now! Do it! I ain't gonna repeat my face! Gonna bury you! Making a point with you. Uh, huh. Yep. You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. 
Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that death. You back so soon, Pa? Someone's here, boy. <laughs> Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Hmm. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. Just shouldn't have turned your back on me, you parasite. Run, <laughs> man. I should have. Don't hurt me, all right? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Well, ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum. And that's your covering. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself.
lady. Morning, Arthur. Hey, get that horse out of here. Calm down. Sadie, Sally, Sadie? Hi, Reverend. 